presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, we learned the jungle magic that is being made up in the North Country. The Reverend Chalmers told Jungle Jim and Lynn that he believed someone familiar with African voodoo was starting that cult among the natives. Getting Jim outside the hotel, the missionary told him he was planning on leaving during the night so that he could conduct his investigation without his daughter following him. He gave Jim a letter containing funds and an explanation for Lynn to be given to her the next morning. At that very moment, under the direction of a human vampire bat, weird ceremonies were being held in the heart of the northern jungle. Later that night, Lynn discovered that her father had checked out. Then she sent a note to Jim. The next morning, a native runner brought it to Jim's camp. It said that Lynn knew about her father's departure and that she was on her way to join him. These thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue the story. Jungle Jim crumples up Lynn Chalmers' note and throws it away. A crazy kid. Colo, pack our stuff. We go too? You bet we go too, right now. White Missy and Mission Swan gone many hours now, Swan Jim. Yes, I realize they've got a start on us, Colo, but we know they'll go up to Burawani. There the Reverend will get a guide so we can trace them easily. And a white girl asking for him will be remembered too. We ought to be able to catch up with them in short order. Colo, no trails, no other boy knows, Swan Jim. Colo, help. Uh, I'm sure you will, Colo. That's one reason why I said we're going after them. Come on. Let's get this stuff packed up. Yes, it's one. Colo, help. Uh, Colo. Yes, it's one. What do you know about this magic business? What do you mean, Swan Jim? I mean, what do you know about the magic that's being made up in the bush uh, last night? Big fella send call mumbo jumbo last night. Drum call. Who is big fellow you speak of, Colo? Big fella vampire bat. Vampire bat? Yes, it's one. Big black bat. Have voice like you. Like me. You mean it has a human voice? Yes, he's big one, Jim. Give orders. Make mumbo-jumbo. Big mumbo-jumbo. Have you seen this vampire bat? No, Swan Jim. Colo, no, see. Colo here from native brothers. Well, uh, what language does it speak? Speak like you, like me. Mm, well, the Reverend Chalmers may not be far from wrong after all. You know, he thinks it might be a white man who was starting this jungle magic up there, Colo. Yes, he's Swan Jim. And now you say this mysterious vampire bat speaks English. Of course, the vampire bat appearance is just a costume, a disguise. What does the human underneath it look like, Colo? Nobody knows. Face always hidden by face of vampire bat. Only hands seen. Hands come out of wings. When make mumbo jumbo, hands hold two daggers. Well, all I can say is I have to hand it to whoever's responsible for the whole business. They sure have imagination. Yes, it's one, Jim. <laughs> you rest. You don't know what I'm talking about. Come on, throw some water on that fire, Colo. Then we'll load the canoe. I'll start putting things in now. Yes, it's one. Colo put out fire. Yeah, we don't want to burn up the jungle. It would be awful if it ever caught on fire. And bring those guns, too, Colo. Yes, it's one. And here, blankets and tin can food. Oh, that's fine. Put them in the center of the canoe. That's it. Now we'll throw away the tent. Give me a hand, Colo. Yes, it's one. Okay, you take that in. Mm. Hold it up once more. Mm. Now, that's it. Now we'll fit in better. Into the canoe with it. All right. Mm. Now, in you get, Colo. And off we go. At that very moment, the Reverend Chalmers is talking to an old acquaintance up at Burawani. Listen, Tuan, Loki. What do you want? Tuan, Loki come to tell you he's glad you safe. Yes, I hardly think I can thank you for that. What Tuan mean? I think you know what I mean, Loki. Mission Tuan blame Loki for something? I suppose you didn't leave me up country and desert me. No, Tuan. Loki no leave you for he want to. Mission two on wrong to think so. It was beautifully planned, Loki, and I must compliment you on its execution. Uh, what mission two on mean? I mean your scheme to get me lost and desert me worked. No, two on. But for the fact that I could trace my way through the broken bush, I should never reach my boat again. Two oh, on. Don't worry, Loki. I'm not going to do anything about it. 
Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. It's not for me to punish you. Loki, sorry to us. Hmm. You no understand. Loki tell you go first so he can look for wildcat. What? Loki fall down over foot of tree. Everything all black like night. Plenty long time. Well, of course, you couldn't answer me if you were unconscious. That's logical enough. Bye-bye, Loki, wake up. Call Mission Tuan. No hear answer. Come look, see. Mission Tuan gone. Well, I'm sorry, Loki. I seem to have been hasty in jumping to conclusions. But I surely thought you deserted me. Loki, sorry, Tuan thinks so. Let's forget the whole thing, shall we? Yes, he Tuan. Loki, forget. Good. Mission Tuan wants to see Mumbo Jumbo some more? Yes, I do. That's why I'm back at Duluwani. I heard there was magic being made up there in the jungle last night. Is that true, Loki? Yes, he do. Last night, Mumbo Jumbo. Drums call my brothers. Do you know exactly where the ceremony was held? Yes, he do. Loki, no. Will you take me there? Mumbo Jumbo, not for white Tuan's eyes. Loki, tell true. Loki, it's not for myself I'm going. It's for you and all your brothers. I want to save you from the bad magic up there. I want to show you God's magic, the only real magic. Will you not take me to the place where they're holding the ceremony to save your brothers? Mission to unfollow Loki where he shall? Yes, yes. Do like he shall? Of course, of course I will. Then come with Loki. Meanwhile, back at the plantation, the strange white woman is upset about something. Laba! Laba, come here! Hello, folks! What do you want to get them off? I got some news. I ought to flail the hide off you for this. What? What the matter, boss? I don't do anything. I know leave plantations as we come back. I know that, but an old folly of yours has come home to roost. I don't know what you try for to say, boss. What did I tell you the other day about your killing that kid? Oh, that may we. You say I should have wait until Zhang Le Jim she left town. Yes, I did say that. And what else? You say we will have something to worry for if Zhang Le Jim gets on our trail. Exactly. And now we're in for it. Huh? You can start worrying, Laba. I have. Jungle Jim has broken camp and is on his way up here. My car, you no need for to worry, boss. Jacques Laba. Got something for to settle with that fella. Uh, and nobody can prove nothing this time. That jungle gym, she will be this side for one now. All right. But see that you do your work better than you have in the past. You leave everything to Jacques Leba. Well, I won't leave everything to you. But I'll leave that snooping adventurer to your gentle charm. Gentle? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Jacques Leba, gentle. My God, that one good joke, boss. Ha, 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 oh, I've got ha. something else to think about. We oui, boss? The Reverend Manley Chalmers is down at Borowani. I've got to be sure Loki doesn't double-cross it. Where's Mamba? In kitchen, I think, boss. I go see. I'll fetch him. Stay here. Mamba! Mamba, you black rascal, come here. Yes, sir, Missy. Mamba, come. Baba. We oui, boss? Fill up the gas tank in the plane. All right, boss. Now, Mamba... I'm going to fly you down to Burawani. On the way, I'll tell you what I want you to do. Just about that time, Jungle Jim and Kolo are working their way through the crocodile-infested part of the Jungle River. Watch yourself, Kolo. This would be a nasty place to fall overboard. Kolo, watch. Go on, Jim. It's the only part of the trip I don't like, Kolo. You never can tell when a perfectly innocent-looking log may turn out to be a crocodile or a hippopotamus having a quiet swim. You're right, Juan. Better we paddle careful here. Yeah. We're on the right trail, though. Remember back at Wangambok, they told us they saw the missionary go by in his motorboat? Yes, it's one. And white Missy follow after. Yeah. I don't wish them any bad luck, but I do wish something could delay them until we get up to them. I'm afraid they're heading right into danger. Mission Swan and him daughter better safe if we there, Swan. Yeah, you're right. Paddle harder, Cole. There's another dead log ahead. I'll steer us around it. Better Colo push log away with paddle, Swan. Look, see. Colo push. Colo, look out! It's a crocodile! 
Reverend Chalmers and Loki have set up camp on the bank of the northern Jungle River. Is that meat cooked yet, Loki? Meat most done, she one. Well, how's our coffee coming along? Coffee need more water. Loki said. All right. I'll watch the meat while you're gone. Loki, I say, there's that plane again. Yes, he she one. Engine bird fly back now. Yes, Loki. When we saw it before, it was flying down to Burawane. I wonder where it's from. Loki, fetch water to us. Very unusual a plane around here, Loki. We must look into that, too. To us. To us. Yes? What's wrong? Canoe, come down wide water. What? Loki, see from Ben. Listen to us, no got fire stick. Better we hide. No, no, Loki, I don't need a gun. The Lord is my sword and shield. I run and hide from no man. Look, see. Canoe, come near shore. Yes, so it does. I wonder who it can be. Someone in a sun helmet with a native guide. Sun helmet come off. White Missy, wave to one. Lynn, my daughter. Lynn. Lynn. Hi, Dad. I see I'm just in time for dinner. Yes, my dear, but how did you... I didn't see, Dad. I heard you tell Uncle Jim that you were going with Oxford. And then I was awakened by your engine as you left. I knew you were heading into danger, so I decided to come along. I picked up Mamba at Borowani, and here I am. Yes, but my child, you don't realize what you're doing. You don't know the jungle as I do. I'm willing to learn. Yes, I'm sure you are. But I'm not willing to risk your life as well as mine. We may never get back to civilization. Then the Thomas will be lost together. No. Well, here you are now, so I guess we'll have to make the best of it for the present. Come along, my dear. Pull my canoe up on shore, Mamba. Yes, sir, mister. Uh, Loki, help my daughter's guide. Yes, he too, Aunt. Why, you here, Mamba? Big fella vampire bat bring me an engine bird. Mamba got message for you. What message? Big fella vampire bat pay much gold. Half for you, half for me. Much gold? Why? For mission to one and girl. Loki do. Tonight. While mission two on and girl sleep, we take night and creep in tent. Well, it begins to look as if the mysterious white woman will make good her threat to destroy anyone who ventures north of Burawani. For how can the Reverend Chalmers and his daughter escape the cruel knives of the treacherous native guides? Don't miss the continuation of these thrilling adventures next week at the same time. The same adventures that appear in full-colored action pictures next Sunday in the Comic Weekly. Distributed everywhere with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And besides Jungle Jim, you will also find many other famous characters of humor and adventure. Don't forget our date next week at the same time for the continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs> 